So let's do the math. How long have you been, now been playing? Like eight months. Eight I months. Say. Have you played any matches? You know what I mean by no, that? No, never matches. No points, nothing. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to keep score? No. I mean, I've heard about like uh, love. All right. 15. Love 15. 30, 40 and 45. 45. I'm going to teach you. True? No, I'm going to teach you the whole thing today. Okay. I'm going to prepare you for your first match. Here's my idea. I want to teach you how to play, like how to keep score, all the rules and everything. Yeah. Then we're going to talk about tactics, like how you're actually going to play. And I'm going to put it to test and play your first match ever. Um, we've got to find no someone. Pressure. We've got to find someone for you to play against. Oh, yeah. And then because you have to play. I, I mean, like you, play, you, you, you don't necessarily have to. You could always like just play tennis. Um, and just rally and all that and yeah, do like drills rally, yeah. but you need like you're missing out on a big aspect of tennis which is the actual competition it's the one-on-one -on -one, you would compete against somebody else so Anna like when you end up winning a match it's gonna feel so good you're gonna be so happy it's gonna be like walking on clouds however if you end up losing it's gonna feel terrible too so that's the fun of it like the competitive aspect of tennis is so fun and I do want you to to experience that so I would like you to start playing some matches and I'm going to prepare you for it, okay? I don't think I'm going to feel bad if I lose. Some I people don't. Depends on the personality. Like, I, I personally, when I lose... You get pissed off? Like, that's an understatement. I get extremely, extremely... Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm not very good when I lose. Yeah. Not very good. For about a, two days, yeah. I'm, I'm in a really, really bad mood. But then after that, I kind of... The nice thing about tennis is there's always the next match. There's always the next tournament. And you kind of kind of forget about the loss but yeah i'm not i'm not very good at losing but some people are some people can just shake it off immediately and they're happy and may, i think you are one I'm of those people because i have competitions in dancing yeah here's your grip uh, most of the times i won you like that it, ma it matches nice and we are matching grips look we have both of the same yes. grips nice <laughs> all right so I'm going to explain to you how the scoring system first works, okay? okay? So go right here, stay on the baseline. Okay, Anna, so the way scoring works in tennis basically consists of a point, a game, a set, and a match. Say it again. Point, point game, game, set, set match. match. You know when they say game, set, match? No. Okay, they say that at the end of a match, that means it's over, somebody won. A match is a, it's a whole thing, okay? Uh -huh. So a point, uh, basically, you see this middle line right here it's called a baseline hash okay. i think i don't i'm not sure about that but <laughs> you're always going to start from the right uh -huh. okay you're going to start from the right and you're going to serve into the left there you got to get into that box you see the box right yes. there service That's line all you know all that okay you, so you me okay we then after every point you're going to switch so it's very important you start on you start always start on this side serving from the right to the left now the way the points work is kind of weird in tennis because you need four points to win a game and this comes from the French they used to keep score by using a clock so the clock it would go 15 love which is one point 30 love which is two points then you would think it would go 45 love and then game but the problem is what if you tie at 45 all you need two points to win the game. And that's why they say 40, because 40 would go up to 50, one point, and then another, another point would be 60. Does that make sense? So it doesn't go 15, 30, 45. It goes 15, 30, 40, because at 40, it's, it's called deuce, and you need two points to win. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yes. And then when it's zero, you say love, uh -huh. which means love in, in uh, French, which means uh, egg. So it's kind of like a zero, I guess. So you say love. All right, so we got 15 love, 30 love, 40 love, not 45. And then, and then we have game, so four points. If you tie the three points, that's called deuce. And then you, you have to win two points. You're going to have either add in or add out. So let's say it's add in and you lose the point, it goes back to deuce. So it keeps going until somebody wins two points in a row. All right, so once that's, that's over... I guess I have to experience it. It's not that hard, like once you learn it, it's super easy, trust me. All right, so now you have one game, okay? If you win that game, you have one game. Now it goes up to six games to win a set. So you can win 6-0, 6-1, 6-2, 6-3, or 6-4. So if there are two people playing the game, what is the longest game can go to? Like, for example, if... 
longest tennis match? The longest tennis match. Longest tennis years. match was uh, 11 hours. Are you serious? Yeah, over 11 hours. John Isner against Nicholas Mahoud at Wimbledon. Oh. Yeah, it was over 11 hours. Played over three days. So it can go on forever. No way. Yeah, it can go on forever. But I had to do that. They weren't playing tie breaks. I'll get to that later. So okay. you have a set that goes to, to, to six. Okay, set yeah. goes to six. If it's five all, you go to seven. If it's six all, you play something called a tie break. All right, and the tie break, you have to count to seven, but you don't count 15 love, 30 love, you just count regular one uh, and first one to get to seven points, win by two. All right, so that's a set. And we'll practice tie breaks. Tie breaks are a little bit complicated, but we'll practice those. Um, just pray that you don't get into a tie break your very first set okay. you play, okay? That would be bad yeah. luck. So then, once you win a set, you need two sets to win the match. So if you win two sets, you win the match. Okay. You understand what it is? Yes. You sure? Because now I'm going to put so. you to the test, okay? <laughs> we're going to do a test. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to serve, and I'm going to keep score for you. If you make your serve right there, you win the point. If you double fault, you lose the point. When is the last time you served? Okay, here we go again. You're not following my recommendations. You probably were. Well, I did. I did. The, I practiced. You serve a couple times? All right, we'll see. We'll see in a minute if you have or not. But anyway, basically, you're going to keep score. You play against no one, but you're still going to keep score and practice that way, okay? So we're going to get started. It's love, love. First point. Let's see what happens. Okay, you're going to keep score. What is it? You won the point. Just pretend there's an opponent there. You won oh, the point. Okay. So it's 15 so what? he missed the shot. 15, 0, 15. No. 15, 15 love. 15 love. Always the points are scored from the server's perspective. Uh -huh. So you're the server. You count uh, your points first. Okay. All right. 15 love. So if, yeah, if you would have lost that point, it would have been love 15. Mm -hmm. All right. Next point. Now we got to switch sides. You got to go over there. 15 love. Okay, second serve, throw the ball a little higher. Yeah. You lost that point. It's all right. Now, switch sides again. What's this? Oh, you can say 15 all. 15 all? 15 all. A L L. 15 all. Toss is going behind you. Second serve. Now, you know you have two serves in tennis. I forgot to mention that. So if you miss the first one, you got another one. Absolutely, that's allowed. You can toss it and catch it. It's windy too. It's very windy, I know. Lately it's been super windy. Uh oh, another double fault. All right, let's go on to the next side. Score. What's the score? 15 30. That's right. It's all right. It's all right. Come again. Make sure you get a continental grip. That's out. All right, score. <laughs> What's the score? It is a big uh, test. 40, uh, 15, 40. 15, 40. Wow, you're learning fast. That's unbelievable. 15, 40, go the other side. Now you see what happens when you don't practice serves. You're gonna lose this game all by double faults. So you believe me now how important the serve is? Very clutch, nice. Yeah. Score? Uh, 30, 30. No. Oh, it was 15 30. It was 15 40. Oh, was it 40? No. Yes, it was. It was okay. 15 40. Then 40 30. No. Service perspective. You were down 15 40. 30 40. 30 40. Okay. All right, go the other way. Are you sure it wasn't 30? I'm 1000 percent sure. The imaginary opponent still has what's called a break point, okay? Mm. It's got a break what point. What does that mean? Break point. It, if you lose this game, you've gotten broken. Your serve broken. If you win this game, you would hold your serve. So it's a, called a break point. Your opponent's about to break your serve, your service game. Gibberish. No, come on. This is tennis terminology. You wanna, get it. You're going to learn it. This is tennis terminology. You need to know this. Come on. Oh. Out. Second serve. And you got broken. You lost the game, Anna. Yes. Four double faults. We gotta practice the serve more. Yeah, yeah. You gotta do, give me, do me a favor. 
for this match, I need you to really ramp up your surf practice because you can't be double faulting because you're going to lose. You're going to lose all your service points. Yeah, this grip is like not making me happy. I like... Uh, you like forehand grip? Forehand grip when I surf. Not allowed. You sure? 100%. Uh -huh. 1000%. You need a continental grip. You got to go out there and practice. All right, now, you lost the game, okay? 1-0, that means you have to switch sides with your opponent, okay? Yeah. Every odd game, you switch sides. So, what that means, 1-0 you switch, then let's say you win that game, or you, you win that game, it's 1-1. One, one. It's an even number. 1 plus 1, 2 is even. You don't switch. Let's say you win that game, it's 2-1, you switch sides again. How many games are total? Three? How long does the set go up till? It's a test. I told you before. A set goes to what? Until six. Okay. Six games. All right. This is gonna be a this is gonna be a great video. This is uh, your preparation for the match. A lot of pressure. All right. So now um, we're gonna play another game. I'm gonna serve, and we'll okay. see what happens. Now you're returning. Okay. So let me show you where to stand on a return. Okay. Slide over there. So important. The other person's gonna be serving. Okay. You're gonna stand close to the doubles alley. But like right here, it's okay. going to be where you see your right foot's going to be right here. Mm -hmm. Now, if that person has a really weak serve, you can stand inside, inside the baseline, right here. Like this and wait for the return. Okay. So stand right here. Yeah. A little bit more. Are okay, you this the person who is having a weak? Weak serve. If the serve is a little bit stronger, you can back up. Okay. But you want to be close to the, you want to be close to the singles line. This but is the singles line. But I wouldn't know until I see, right, what they're doing. How, we, how strong their serve is? Yeah, you would have to see it once you see them serve okay. and then adjust your positioning. But always stand here because when somebody's serving from over there, mm -hmm. uh, they're going to have a, from, from your perspective, a rightward trajectory. So you have to cover this, this area right here. Okay. So the ball is going to have a rightward trajectory. That's why you stand close to the singles line. You can't stand too far in the middle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it's going to be your return of serve. So we're going to count uh, the same way. You just play out the points. Out! You know that was out, right? Yeah. So what's the score now? 15 one. That's right. Always from the server's perspective. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now you switch sides. I'm going to play with you. <laughs> score? Um, 31. Okay. When you return uh -huh. and you hit that forehand, you go back to the middle. You can't stand in the corner there. Mm -hmm. The entire half is open there. Got it. Okay, so yeah. hit the return quickly, go to the middle of the court. Uh -huh. All right, come on. <laughs> this is real tennis now. Oh, no! Very strong return, Anna. Very strong. Big power. Score? I didn't stage it, actually. I couldn't control it. I, I wanted to make you play. I couldn't control my forehand. Oh, it feels so good. What's the score? <laughs> score? Okay. Uh, 30, 15. Wow, you're so smart. Yeah. In! That was a great shot, by the way. 30, 30 all. Oh, 30 all? Yeah. Right, right, right. All right. 30 all. 30 all. All right, here we go. That's Very nice. No, I missed it again. Too strong. By the way, I saw you hanging out over there again. You got to go to the middle, yeah, Anna. Yes. All right. But you gotta practice, you know. But that was a very strong. See, the forehand is your gonna be your your, your weapon. So what's the score now? Um, 30, 40. Yes, 30, 40, and that's called what? Uh, break point. Break point. So you got a break point now. This is huge yes. because you lost your serve. You can break right back, and even the score. Okay. Come on. You gotta stay out. Okay. Second serve. Oh, no. I got so tight. That's what will happen to players. 30, 40, break point. I got nervous and I make a double fault. Very common. Are you sleep deprived? What's the score now? Remember. Big test. Let me check your score. What is it now? 45, 30. No. Oh, no. 30, 45. No. Remember, how, like after 40, what goes the game? Four points. So it was 30, 40, you won three points. You won another point. That's game. game. No 45. What's the score in games? The first game on your serve, you lost it, right? Yes. So 0, 1. And now you won the second game. Okay. What's the score? So it's a tie. 
It's 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. All right, now you just keep going like this. You keep going. Okay. Until somebody gets six. Unless it's five all, then you win by two. It's up to seven. Okay. And if it's six all, you play... If it's 1-1, one, one, just... You don't say it's a tie. Just you don't say, say tie. You just one. say one all. You say one, one, all. one all. Oh, okay. That's a set score. And then you just keep going until six. Most likely when you play your first match, we're only gonna play one set. Mm -hmm. And a match consists of two sets. You have to win two sets. So it's 12 until 12? No, separate just set. So when you win the first set, let's say you win the set 6-1, mm -hmm. you play a second set, it starts back at 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay. If your opponent wins the second set, then you play a deciding third set. Winner takes all. All right, Anna, now, <laughs> now we talk tactics. Come on, give me a racket tap. This is going to be the most important talk. I know it's weird because you never, this scoring system is a little bit odd in tennis. Yeah. But like I said, once you learn, it's going to be super easy. Yeah. You have any questions? No, not right now. It's all right if you get it wrong in the beginning, you know? Yeah, it's fine. People yeah. will help you. You know what helps? Is watching tennis on TV. Okay. All right, if you watch it on TV. Oh, you don't have TV. Uh, <laughs> I don't have TV. Watch it on YouTube, okay? Uh -huh. I got a couple of matches of mine. You want to watch me? Yes. All right, I'll send you my matches. And okay. the score is right there on the bottom. Excellent. All right, Anna. That's actually a good thing to do before the match. You warm up. You warm up, and you, you uh, if you want to stretch, you can. But yeah. as far as tactics, when it comes to playing matches, it's going to be super simple. All I want you to do is just get the ball into the court, like even down the middle of the court. It doesn't really matter where you place it. Like just pick the biggest target you can get, and just keep it in play as much as you can. Like don't try to hit hard. Don't try to overpower the other person. Just keep the ball in. What that will do is going to give you confidence in your strokes that eventually, once you start playing more matches, you're going to trust your shots more that you're going to go harder. Because what will happen, I can guarantee you that if you go out and start kind of blasting the ball, start hitting hard, you're going to make tons of mistakes, you're going to lose. Okay. Right? So, so you just got to keep it simple, get it in, the serve, uh, the ground strokes, your forehand and backhand, just get it in. Nothing fancy, it can be slow. Now here's the good news. All this stuff that we do with technique, forget about it when you play a match. Don't even spend one second thinking about technique. Yeah. Because you when can't. When I get into my head, I miss everything. Because you can't anyway. You can't anyway think about uh, technique when you play matches. Just think of the actual match. There's going to be a lot of thoughts going through your mind. You know, you're going to want to win, right? Everybody wants to win. And your mind's going to be preoccupied with that. You're going to be feeling different emotions such as a little bit of anxiety at certain times. I don't know if you even felt it when we did that exercise serving, but you're going to feel what they say in tennis, tight. You're going to feel a little bit anxious and nervous. Yeah. So all this stuff is going to go through your mind. So there's no time to think about technique. All the stuff that we do when we practice, that stuff is going to be there for you eventually. It's going to be in your muscle memory. It's going to be automated. And uh, we worry about that on the practice court. But when it comes to the match court, you completely free your mind from that and just play the actual game. You just have to trust. It's that whatever is there. Whatever is, there, whatever is there is there, yeah. and don't even worry about it. Mm -hmm. Now, we haven't played for a month. Your forehand uh, went back to a little bit to the old way. That's uh, something we're gonna work on. We're gonna play more now, you and I. I'm gonna do a couple more sessions before your first set, private sessions, not on camera, and trying to get your forehand up to speed so that it's a little bit better for the match. And of course, like I said before, don't ignore the serve. The serve, see how it's often ignored? But you see how important it is in a match? Yeah. Because you're either serving or you're receiving it. Huh? It's a point. And every, a point. every point starts with a serve, whether you're serving or, or the other person's serving. Do you have any questions about playing matches? I know you're kind of like, I don't see too much excitement. Even though there was... I love rally, you know, like the thing is like, for me, process of... Uh, the process of and keeping the ball in play and moving my body and with somebody else. but you'll get that too in a match situation there are going to be rallies but the fun part is that you're actually going to win the rally yeah, yeah. you know somebody wins the rally mm -hmm. and the intention in a point is to win the point where the intention in a rally is to keep the rally going to hit the other person it's a completely different mindset when you play you're playing to beat the other person when you're just practicing you're playing to have the other person hit it back to you so that's going to be the difference. So I, I want to awaken the killer instinct in you. See, How much killer instinct you have. Yeah. Now we got to find someone for you to play with. Awesome. All right, Anna. Let's do a racket tap. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Your first match. Uh -huh.